Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and as you've probably read from the title, we are reviewing Thompson's new 40 inch 4K HDR TV. And here's the thing, when Thompson told us that this is the only 40 inch 4K HDR TV available out there, we went on a Google searching spree and actually found out that if you need to get on the 4K HDR bandwagon, you will have to get a 43 inch TV. And if you want a 40 inch TV, you're gonna to have to stick with full HD, which actually begged us to question the difference between the two screen sizes is a mere three inches. And if this is happening, that means that there is a market for both the categories. However, that is a story for another day. What we are gonna talk about is this TV and to find out whether it is worth the asking price of 20,999 rupees. So let's kick things off with the build and design. Like all budget TVs, this TV has a plastic shell all around, which is fine. It has plastic feet, glossy borders, and everything you'd expect from a budget TV. It has three HDMI ports with ARC support and two USB ports on the side panel, which is really, really nice because you would really like to get your hands in to change HDMI cables if necessary. And the other connectivity suites, including uh, the traditional AV inputs, uh, headphones out, Ethernet port are at the back at the bottom. Now, the only problem here is if you wall mount the TV, the positioning of the side three ports may be a little difficult for you to get to but it's still nice that it's on the side so if you've tabletop the TV you can easily reach it now like most TVs that we have reviewed in the past all the 40 43 inch TVs the distance between uh, the actual base of the television when kept on the tabletop stands and uh, the bottom of the TV is so small that if you place a gaming console or a soundbar in front of it, and if you are gonna watch it from a slightly lower height, you are going to end up hampering your viewing experience. So that's something to keep in mind if you have things kept in front of the TV in your entertainment center. Now coming to the UI, the Thompson 40 inch TV is running on Android 7 out of the box, but it is still AOSP, which means you get a mobile experience of the streaming services such as Netflix and Prime videos. Hotstar just kept crashing on us every time we we try to launch it so yeah there is something that needs a little bit of fixing thankfully the TV has a mouse functionality but you have to control the mouse by using the up down left right buttons because navigating these mobile apps on a TV can be a bit of a problem but all is not bad YouTube worked perfectly well including 4k playback on this TV which is really nice so you have a YouTube as a source for 4k content and the UI also brings with it uh, some interesting elements. You have a weather app which gives you forecast for the coming days. You also have an assistant app and before you go all crazy thinking that this TV has the Google Assistant, it's actually just an assistant to tell you certain features of your TV. For example, you can check the network speed that you have, the network connectivity. And a really nice thing when you're checking the network speeds is it will tell you whether the TV will be able to stream content in HD or full HD based on your internet speed. So that is really, really nice. The rest of the UI is what you'd expect from Android. It's AOSP, it's what we've seen before with a slightly different skin overlaying the TV. Now coming to the performance, this is where things get really, really interesting. So uh, to tell you some of the good things, we played Netflix 4K HDR from an Xbox One X and a movie like Polar, that requires you to actually uh, see a lot of sequences in the dark. If you've seen Polar on Netflix, uh, towards the end of the movie, where the protagonist is being tortured in a dungeon, the only source of light is from the torches of the torturers. No pun intended here. And uh, the reflections that are created, the crispness and the quality, the darks and the lights in that sequence actually look really good on this TV, which was a little surprising for us. Uh, in other 4K content, we saw the Daredevil Season 2, Episode 3 staircase fight sequence, which of course has a lot of darks mixed with a little bit of light. And that also actually looked pretty good considering the Xbox was getting good speed from the internet. We also saw some full HD content like Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, John Wick, and Spider-Man Homecoming looked actually good. We had to tweak the settings here. Now, for 4K HDR content, you can use uh, the dynamic preset, for example, and we'd suggest that you increase the backlight as much as possible, which will help you get a good uh, preset set for full HD content you can switch from dynamic back to standard which actually gives you slightly better uh, color reproduction because full HD content is just looks that way on this television and you can bump down the backlight to about 5758 uh, if you do not want to see the gray areas in uh, the dark sequences in movies like Spider-Man for example the only movie that struggled on this TV was actually John Wick uh, especially the red circle fight sequence where we saw a lot of mixtures of colors they weren't really uh, as sharp as we've seen on other other full HD TVs, some flagship TVs, of course, in this case, where we compared it to. But this was the only movie that actually struggled to maintain some good color reproduction on this TV, no matter how much we tinker with the settings. Now, moving over to gaming, a game like Gears of War 4 on the Xbox One X gives you some good HDR controls, both in-game and out. 
Now for Gears of War 4, we actually changed the settings uh, to soft and we brought the backlight down to about 56, 57 again. And that really helped us get a good HDR image. And we of course tuned the HDR settings in the game. So we'd recommend you do the same if you are gonna be playing on a console that's capable of HDR gaming. Uh, having said that, when we played a game like Doom, which is in 4K, but in SDR, we had to change the settings back to standard and bump the backlight up as much as we could to get the red planet to look the way it should. So yes, you do need to tinker with the settings if you want to get the perfect picture quality. Standard also works well for your regular setup box, TV viewing, if you want to watch a show like Young Sheldon, which anyways has bright colors, you really don't need to move to the dynamic or the vibrant preset. You could just watch it on standard and it'll do a good job. Speaking of the audio, it's acceptable. We saw the Cyberpunk 2077 trailer and it did not blow us away as far as the audio is concerned. So yeah, if you want to make the most of this TV for movie viewing, gaming and entertainment, get a budget soundbar. It'll really help the 210 watt speakers on this TV are good if you are going to watch things like news or regular TV shows like Young Sheldon, Big Bang Theory and things like that. So there you have it guys. That was our review of the Thompson 40 inch 4K HDR TV. It's got a pretty good panel for consuming content. The smart features are bleak, especially if you're going to look for something uh, where native streaming apps are available. The remote control is fine. It's traditional. It's exactly the same one that we saw on the Thompson B9 Pro. So there's really little to talk about. That's a very traditional remote and it just gets the job done. Um, you also do not have detailed controls of things like the brightness and contrast on this TV. You just have the presets to play with and there is also no game mode. So that was our review of this TV, guys. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. We will do our best to answer them. And for more videos like this one, you can stay tuned to Digit.in. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.